everyone and welcome to a new episode of God Eater 2 Raid Boss. So let's continue on with the story. At first... He's more like Huh, only the two? Fight well, God Eaters. Mission commence. Commencing phase one. My apologies, Vice Captain. I did not intend to take you away from your duties. I've been hoping for an opportunity to speak with you about this for some time. Blood is incredible. They are not only elite warriors, they are versatile, capable, and daring. To be honest, they are far more than I expected. They synchronize without effort, and are constantly aware of not only their own tactical situation, but each of their allies. They've come far. My point being, that the level of strategic capability that they have shown far outstripes my own. Far outstripes each of us individually. Vice Captain, I believe this to be the result of the relationships you've developed with us. We just meet like, I don't know, uh, at least that a week, a couple of days now. 
To be honest, the way blood interacts, I've begun to question all I've been taught as a soldier. Uh, please do not misunderstand. It is not a bad feeling. In fact, it's... How can I put this? Um, I... I don't quite know how to explain it. Hmm. I'm sorry for all this. Vice Captain, there is something I wish to ask of you. Please, please be my friend. So, w will you? Of course. I'm gonna be friends with anyone eventually. <laughs> I'm not gonna be that bad. R really? You truly mean that? Thank you. Vice Captain, thank you so much. My apologies. I know this is an uncommon way to go about it. I've always seen friendship from afar and wanted nothing more. A unit that doesn't rely on orders, but on each other. <sighs> if I may be so bold, I have one more small request to make. May I tell others that you are my friend? I am so glad. You know, you're the first friend I've ever had. I cannot tell you how much this means to me. You make me feel so strong and brave. Maybe even enough to grow close to the others as well. Yeah, let's do the story. Yeah.
Mission complete. It's all the time before the plan comes together. We have a few minutes. Now is the best time to collect supplies. Ah, got you. Psst. Are those two really sisters? They don't look much like sisters. Just saying. Shut up. Buying in bulk will ensure profit, Cujo. That's the end goal, not your petty research. Stop being a coward and grow a damn spine. Ah, well then. We'll continue this later. We're glad you could finally make time to join us, Director Grimm. What she means is, thank you for coming. We're sure you're busy. Very, Doctor, very. Pardon me if I forego more idiotic pleasantries. Why are we moving my fortress to the Far East? I gave no such order. Ah, you likely haven't met. This gentleman is Director Grimm. Advisor to Fenrir HQ and Commander of Friar. You are beginning to try my patience, Rachel. Why don't you take after your sister a little more? <laughs> Do mind your manners before the director, Rachel. Of course. We need to see Blood and Godark soldiers together in combat situations. There are more than enough Aragami here. There's no need to travel to that madhouse. I won't put my operation at risk on some whim. HQ does not simply grant approval to anyone who asks. They insisted on seeing the God Ark soldiers in combat with various Aragami. Ah, oh, I see. Uh, uh, even so. Miss Yuno makes her home at the Far East Branch. She does command much influence with Fenrir. It would be wise to grant her some aid. Very well, I allow this frivolous exercise. However, I want assurances that neither Blood nor the Godark soldiers shall take casualties. None at all. I'd never dream of betraying your trust. Hmm. Very well, submit your proposal. I care not. Dr. Leia, would you remain for a while? The rest of you may go. Uh, thank you. Spineless. That goes for you, too. Sir, what about the unmanned operations for God Ark soldiers? Not now, you fool. Leave me, Cujo. What? Why do that name sounds familiar? I may remember for another stuff, but... Thank you for seeing the wisdom in our plan, Director. <laughs> I do wish you would be kinder to my sweet little sister, though. This morning already put me in a foul mood. I suppose her disobedience only frustrated me further. Oh, she's a contemptuous girl. Of course, I understand. Is something else troubling you? Oh, uh, yes. It's just a boring paperwork problem. Something concerning the bulk order of artificial muscles for the God Ark soldiers. HQ has begun to interfere. Again. Are you still going on about that silly order? You shouldn't focus so much on the profit. Think of all the people that will benefit. Oh, nonsense, girl. Such an investment must guarantee a substantial monetary return. And that, after all, is what drives Fenrir, is it not? Well then, Director. <laughs> it seems that some new arrangements must be made. Agreed. <laughs> Okay. You know, I kinda knew about one and two what has been there, but two of it is full of surprise.
I'm curious what you with this SR space like I can only watch for this five, fifth one but what about that? Blood unit reading green, region indicators reading green, fire unit reading green. We're good to go. Commence mission. Mission commence. Exactly in my job description. Dr. Leia, why are you opposed to testing unmanned operations? It's the most efficient way forward with the God Ark soldiers. I'm not opposed. I simply comprehend that we cannot begin a new test phase under current conditions. How could you allow this? HQ insists that the use of God Ark soldiers is unnatural. Many former God Eaters have lent their voice to this protest. <sighs> I do as I must. If we can't get solid results and quick in this next testing phase, we will be forced to scale back the program. It is out of my hands. I am sorry, Doctor. I only ask that you try to understand for my sake. Very well.
Reporting in, Director Grimm. I was informed you wished to speak with my team and I. Oh, as per Dr. Rachel's request, I want your blood unit to take the lead in conducting the upcoming Godox soldier exercises. To elaborate, I then... Uh, Kujo, elaborate for me. Of course, Director. I understand that you, Captain Visconti, and you, Ms. Allenson, worked under Dr. Rachel and Dr. Leia. Yes, that's true. They raised us, in fact. Both Sheila and I served as test pilots in earlier phases of the Goddard Soldier Project. Very good, yes, very good indeed. Then I'll be brief. I need you to observe the soldiers in combat and defend them, if necessary. We require one-on-one -on -one combat data, so your task is to clear the operations area. Please ensure that nearby Aragami will not be a threat. So we're to play the opening act. Exactly. And you'd best not forget it, boy. The Godox soldiers are to be the stars of this show. Do I make myself understood? Yes, sir. Excellent. You'll be briefed on site, etc., etc. Mission requisites and such. Handle it, Cucho. I'm a busy man. Of course. Uh, Captain Visconti, I'll go into more detail at the mission briefing, if that's acceptable. Very well. Thank you, Doctor. Until then.